This tutorial today is about how to create that dramatic black and white fill in Photoshop and we're going to be using gradient maps, the black and white adjustment layer and we're also going to be using the contrast and the levels in Photoshop. So let me show you guys how we can do this, how we can convert this image from from this to this you can see it is dramatic and has enough contrast in it and it really looks beautiful and amazing and this image was uh, taken by encourage photography as you can see and it was part of his fifth retouching challenge so let me show you guys how we do convert this image in Photoshop into a dramatic black and white and if I can go ahead I'm running for money photography so we are going to come and delete uh, this layer so we're going to start from scratch so first of all you're going to uh, start by duplicating your background layer ctrl j on the keyboard then come right down here and uh, select gradient map so when you select gradient map uh, your image will turn like this if at all your white is on top and your black is below so when you click right there on the color icon you get these different swatches as you can see and uh, when you go in for this preset yeah we have a black and white preset right here it will turn your image into black and white automatically so what we are going to do uh, the other option is you can just uh, double click right here and uh, select black right here, a deep black right here and click OK. Then double click right here on the highlights and uh, select uh, white right here. Make sure you drag this until this is completely white. So click OK. So that is another option. So you'll get this right here. Your image will be black and white. So after that, click OK. So we are not going to play around with these blending modes this time around. So just come back right here and now select black and white. So when you do that, uh, it will also apply its effect. So you can see uh, it is not really, really visible, but uh, the effect has been applied. And if at all you would like to do a little bit more adjustments, you can uh, play around with them. So for this case we are not going to do that so after doing that come to your brightness and contrast right here and now pump up a little bit of contrast because you want uh, that dramatic feel in uh, the portrait so add the contrast to around 10 10 can do for this image then come right down here and now select your levels and now drag your level slider to add contrast you can see if i drag it all the way you can see the contrast it adds into the image so that is too much so we are going to go in for a contrast of around seven can do for this image so you can see now we have already achieved uh, this black and white the dramatic black and white feel in our portrait and we have enough contrast in this image so you can see how easy it is to uh, convert our images into that beautiful and more professional dramatic black and white so you can see the results for this image so let's group this ctrl g so you can see before after before after so let me turn off our black and white what we have done and now i'm going to select our layer one so let me show you guys the difference so if you come and now directly click on the black and white layer uh, you see uh, you see like the image lacks contrast and it is not dramatic and kind of looks pale so when you turn uh, off the black and white and turn this on you can see as uh, the image has contrast and it is not looking pale so you can see this is the initial black and white and now this is our our what we have done for this tutorial you can see it has enough the blacks are really vivid and the whites are prominent 
but uh, if at all you're just going for this uh, usual black and white you can see uh, the details and the blacks are not vivid or well expressed so this tutorial has been about how to create that dramatic black and white in Photoshop and we have been using gradient maps the black and white layer we use levels and the contrast so if at all you love this tutorial don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to uh, subscribe this channel if at all you have landed on this video or from this channel for the very first time I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching see you in yet another tutorial